It's only been 9 days and TDX has already released a brand new tower. This is by far way better than TDS has ever done. And for $2,350, we buy a building that spawns in troops on the path. I mean, as Barracks is. I helped out to balance this tower, so I definitely know what's good about it. So let me just pick a loadout and let's hop into a game. All right, so here we are in Ancient Sky Island. This is an easy map. This is where Barracks is going to definitely shine. I'm going to play on Elite Mode here because Elite Mode is pretty tough. And so, first thing you might notice about the barracks is how cheap it is. It's only 325 to place down. This is why I'm going to be starting off with a farm, because uh, all I have to do is just wait for the crate to drop. In fact, let me just speed up the game here. And once the crate drops, I'll I'll have my money for a barracks. This is uh, basically one of the cheapest early game towers, and it's going to do some fantastic work. Okay, so here we go. We place it down. Uh, it's not doing anything. I think it's... Okay, there we go. So here comes our scout. This thing has plenty of range. It only has 15 HP, but it does fine damage. The only issue is uh, we didn't get this scout in the best spot. It would have been a lot nicer if it spawned sooner so that I could hit the enemies over here. That's fine. Look at that. We already have the money for a second scout. So let me just get it down real quick. I should have probably put it immediately because I'm forgetting that there's a cooldown. But here it is. Look at that. It'll stand in the middle. It'll shoot the enemies around the side. Uh, that's pretty much how you get some really good damage out of it. Again, still, it would be the best if I had it stand like here and just shoot the enemies there. But, uh, well, not everything is the way you want it sometimes. For the price of 325 this tower uh, does some fantastic work. Oh, look at that. There you go. That's beautiful. By the way, uh, the range isn't exactly accurate. The scout can shoot farther than, uh, well, what you see. So you're actually getting an even better tower than you think you are. But yeah, the scouts are going to die to that. It's fine. I'm just going to get uh, something else. Now, I'm playing in solar right now. In uh, a squad, you can place down 16 barracks. It, there's four barracks per, uh, per player in total. I mean, also, we do preferably need to use some other form of damage here, like sniper. I'm just going to get it down. This tower works a lot better when you pair it with something else. I mean, on its own, right, one scout every 55 seconds, it isn't going to be, uh, you know, it's not really going to carry. But yeah, that's why I do have my sniper here. And uh, let's see this. Uh, yeah, that, that looks that looks pretty good. And yeah, now there's two of them. That's even better. In fact, it would be really smart to time your barracks. When these scouts build up, that's when they start becoming pretty, pretty dang overpowered. Oh, look at that. This is about to be great. This scout is going to be shooting here for a while. And look at that. Two scouts. Even better. Let me get down a missile trooper. Uh, just set it on strongest real quick. Because, I mean, it is elite mode. I, <laughs> barracks, even though it's a fine tower, it's, it's not going to just absolutely carry. But would you look at that? These scouts are holding their ground, and that's what we like to see. And yeah, this is the round you kind of have no choice but to use Missile Trooper. Well, actually, here we go. Let's let's get down our two barracks at the same time. This is going to spawn two, two scouts at the same time. And hopefully, maybe they'll be lined up with the... Uh, oh, yeah, look at that. It lined up with one of the other barracks. So now I have three in one place, and that'll just be doing even more damage. And yeah, look at that. That's wonderful. On this round, I'm probably going to lose some HP, so let me just upgrade two of these barracks, because what happens when you upgrade is it resets the cooldowns, so the scouts are going to spawn uh, in a second here, and here they come, and they'll be able to tank quite a bit of these stealth enemies, actually. I mean, not all of them, but it's still enough to prevent me from dying. On those uh, level 2 scouts that I upgraded to, by the way, it actually doubles the amount of scouts that come out. It increases their DPS. It's overall just a much better thing to get. Now, these chains are kind of scary. They have a lot of HP. I, I, like, I don't know how this is going to go. Maybe I should get more snipers. Probably a, a better idea would be, yeah, to work on uh, getting this to small plus. Would you look at this? This uh, this chain of scouts here, though, they're, they're doing some wonderful damage. Uh, can I kill that? There you go. I got small plus. This thing is, uh, yeah, this thing is going to carry. And yeah, oh my god, SMA is necessary. No, not the scouts. There's a stealth mutated zombie. And goodbye, scouts. I mean, hey, that, that did good damage. I think it's time we build up our army even more. Let's see if I upgraded those at the right time to spawn all of our scouts in one spot. Here they come. And, uh, well, those two spawned. Oh, and there go the other two. Look at the amount of scouts there are just camping in the center. This is uh, the point where they start doing, like, really good damage. Oh, no. Oh no, I think it's over for these scouts. Oh, they all got mowed down. Oh goodness, there's so much stuff. Come on, guys. Come on, scouts. Yes, save us. <laughs> we actually live. But yeah, things are getting dangerous. I'm going to just get two smas here because, uh, well, you really can't go wrong with two smas. And now let's get our next level of scouts. It's going to be these riflemen. These things have uh, even... Wait, okay, they haven't spawned yet. Oh, there they go. These things have... 25 HP and critically they have significantly more DPS so if you manage to line them up like I did right here you're gonna get some like 
Oh my god, It'll, the damage is just gonna be wonderful. This round's a little dangerous, uh, I think he's gonna, uh, oh wow, he didn't run over my scouts. I'm gonna get an operator here just for some more consistent damage here to these hiddens. Oh, there's a knight, let's look at that damage. Yep, they just did like 200 by hitting into, uh, hitting into him. And look at that, these scouts are gonna finish the job. Come on, come on scouts, you got this. Ooh, yep, that was entirely by the scouts actually, the smaws didn't even need to shoot at that. This round, no, all my scouts are getting mowed down. Yeah, that is kind of their weakness, but, uh, um, actually, if you have other stuff to pair it with, it, it shouldn't, like, really mess you up that bad. What I think it's time to do is to start upgrading bottom path. Just, just increases how fast our scouts spawn. It's kind of expensive relative to the price of the barracks, but, uh, I mean, when you have money, it's a good thing to get. Let's actually upgrade these to riflemen as well. And, oh boy, I kind of need to upgrade this sniper. Oh my god, bro! My scouts just spawned a little bit too late. Yeah, I do have to say, it's definitely not the wisest choice to exclusively rely on barracks. It's a much better idea if you have some other stuff to, to keep you covered while, while you know barracks is spawning or whatnot. And barracks, especially by fast stuff, gets absolutely destroyed. Like, that thing was quick, so yeah, I, I really had almost no chance. Yeah, like right here. Boom. All of my scouts gone. I'm gonna hopefully get another SMA right here. Yeah, that's gonna definitely help out in taking out these mutated zombies. And of course, barracks did help out there. But this time I did play it a little bit more safe. I mean, I'll even upgrade my sniper just, you know, for the heck of being even safer with this fast stuff. Oh, and yeah, as I was saying, we do need to get these upgraded to bottom path. So let me just do that real quick. All of our stuff now spawns every 42 seconds instead of 55. That's going to greatly help out. And uh, yeah, here comes this stuff, which is absolutely destroying me. I'm going to get intervention just uh, because it's, it's a good upgrade. And all my scouts are dead. Okay, there we go. We made it past this round. Okay. I think, um, I'm, uh, actually, I might want to farm some more. Uh, let's just see what comes out. It's these. Um, hmm. What do I do? I think I'm fine with what I have. Yeah, I'm going to work to getting all of my, uh, level 3 farms placed down. Actually, this round is a little tough, if I remember correctly. Let's, uh, let's slow this game down and actually spawn a whole army. So, uh, let's go boom, 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 boom. And this should just like spawn in a ton of troops here i'm gonna get ap bullets as well because uh i need some extra damage oh yes here they come <laughs> wait this is actually gonna be doing so much damage come on you got this you got this scouts oh my goodness wait this is gonna be close this is gonna be so close come on scouts come on just a little bit more they did it oh my god they actually saved me oh this round is gonna be this round just sucks i'm gonna i'm just gonna get more missile troopers honestly okay i have like four smas if this isn't enough then then this round is just like a dead end oh my god look at this the amount of scouts that just pile up in the center let's even get an assault class yes let's get a top path this should spawn even stronger scouts uh we're gonna see them in a moment and there they are. These have 40 HP. Look at their range. It's like this whole map. Which is why this map is actually so good for barracks. Because your stuff's just going to stand in the middle and keep shooting everything as it goes around. And the nice thing is, well, you're going to have to watch. Because you're going to have to see how this thing does against bosses. But look at that. That round was handled like it was nothing. Revive boss 2. Uh, this is going to be only a little bit problematic. I mean, with four smas, look at that. That thing's HP is already, like, kind of low. Yeah, it's absolutely fine. Let me just finish my farming business over here. And there you go. It's really barely worth it to farm after, like, you know, wave 20. Just because you start getting so much money from enemies. So I think it's time we get our second assault class. But also, let's get our bottom path. So first, we have an M202 trooper. This thing is basically, like, a, a mini MRL. Let's actually get uh, two of them. I kind of want to get two of them. Oh, well, I got three top paths. It's fine. Oh, here it is. M202. Look what it does. Actually, it's kind of hard to see. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, that thing takes a few good shots. But let's get Spec Ops and Rail Trooper. This max level barracks is going to go hard. First of all, Spec Ops just spawns way stronger scouts. Uh, you're going to see them in a second. But the Rail Trooper is the main reason you're getting this. Look, first of all, look at the Rail Trooper's range. It's definitely this whole map. And, uh, and this thing does like 200 damage a shot, actually. It, it, it's ridiculously strong. Let's actually see if we can see. And yep, yeah, uh, that, that's good. It's definitely going to come in really clutch for dealing with these abominations. In fact, let's get a second one so that we could just have it spawn out the center. By the way, uh, where are the scouts? Oh, wait, yeah, th those are the scout level fours. Yeah, the spec ops are these scout level fours. Look at that. We got another real trooper in the middle. The thing is, 
uh, the barracks can spawn two rail troopers. So soon enough, we're actually going to get a second rail trooper spawning in. And we're just going to be beaming even more enemies from the center. Uh, all while the M202 stays in there. By the way, let's get a rider every 12 seconds. So this thing spawns riders really frequently. I, I might as well get flamethrower while I'm at it. You actually kind of have to skip. Oh, but there you go, rider. This thing has 275 HP and it's fast. So basically what this thing is intended to do is tank the enemies for you. Like, it'll, it'll run ahead, and it'll, it'll pull, oh, the flamethrower, look at that. It's so beautiful. Th flamethrower does so much damage against hordes. It has a big range. It, like, let, let's just look at its damage. Yeah, that, that's really strong, considering you only paid 18k. It, Barax gets really cost efficient. Like, really cost efficient when there's a horde. Uh, fast stuff, though, we don't want to talk about that, because fast stuff is just going to go, nope. And, uh, yeah, that, that's it for your flamethrower. But there you go. That's my barracks maxed out. You can only get four barracks. But the thing is, I paid, like, as much money as you'd pay for a juggernaut for this. And I'm getting close, if not better per performance from a jugger than from a juggernaut, which is right now the best tower in the game. So that is unbelievable to see. Now, uh, uh, I have to start, uh, stop relaxing and kind of start defending here. Let's, let me get two DJs real quick and an MRL. Because uh, this round, I mean, uh, you just MRL just helps a lot because of how much stuff there is. Flamethrower does too. Let's look at his damage though. Oh, oh my god, that what is that DPS? That just went for like t t a thousand for a second there. Keep in mind you're paying a hundred thousand for a full power juggernaut to get a thousand DPS. This thing is doing it for eighteen thousand. I'm gonna be honest, guys, this thing might might get a nerf let me get javelins as well actually you know might as well get some support in here the ease in which we beam these enemies though is like it's satisfying let me get showdown dj for even more fire rate here especially on this mrl okay a flamethrower in the situation would be nice there it goes wait there's so many enemies what the heck this dps is ridiculous yeah this tower this tower probably is gonna get a nerf uh let me just spam down a few more javelins actually i think i'm gonna get a couple of bottom path snipers as well just because of well stealths bottom path sniper has an ability where it can unstealth the enemies and uh i would really like to use that right now <laughs> we got eradicator in our hands right here uh oh shoot fast stuff Ah, eh, we got it let me actually get a second mrl i think it's gonna come in really clutch especially for this kind of garbage oh but would you look at that so many rail troopers in the middle we kind of have to skip so that the rail troopers don't like walk their way out of you know the center we want them to stay in the center because uh, that's where they're going to be uh, worth the most for us this sounds a little scary i'm gonna get down a few bottom path operators here and there just uh well just to have them uh i don't think i need to unstealth i mean uh that thing just busted through a lot of our defense let me actually unstealth this round here yes let's get even more units down on the track oh shoot i need to unstealth this uh dj ability could be used there go the operators stuff is punching through uh, cause yeah, barracks, barracks, again, to fast stuff, it gets destroyed, but not if you're on this map. Cause yeah, on easy maps, I mean, barracks is just, it, it's it, that, it's the one. Let me get two more DJs back here. Oh shoot, there's a lot of stuff, uh, I'd like to unstealth this stuff, maybe we could get a flamethrower to help. Might as well spawn some cars. Oh yeah, look at that. And our flamethrower is dead. Also, all of our troops moved out, so, uh, you know, not, not very preferable. Oh god, can I please use my ability? Yeah, there we go. Now we're co oh, we're be we're gonna get cooked. Well, at least until the stuff gets here. I, I mean, yeah, th they're just all died. Now I guess I just spam some javelins, cause like javelin, you know, javelin. Okay, I'll stop. Yeah, javelin is gonna be the way we defeat this boss, just cause it's so good against bosses. It's like literally more, like one of the best ways to defeat a boss, unless you're playing expert. I'm gonna sell my farms here and just. <laughs> you guessed it. Get more javelins. Oh, he just killed some stuff. Uh, let me actually bait real quick. Ah, that should be enough. Oh my god, my stuff is dying. Uh, hopefully I can keep getting more javelins, you know, without a, uh, without an issue. Let me spawn some cars. There we go. Oh, a lot of my javelins just died, but I still have plenty. All this is stealth stuff, by the way. Let me just kind of deal with that real quick. Let's get some more, uh, missile troopers down. I mean, uh, operators. Let's use an ability here, even though, uh, actually, I don't think it's really all that good. I'll get some ghosts as well my god all my rail troopers they're gonna struggle oh we got spawns uh i think that's the end for my rail troopers there they go hold on i can't be dead though let me get down some pathfinders whoa 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 what do you mean whoa that thing got a little bit close i'm getting more pathfinders come on let's kill it 
And GG's Elite Mode with Operator, Barax. Granted, it is on an easy map, but that is what Barax is good for. And it can actually even be useful for Expert. But there we go. If you enjoyed seeing this review and practice, make sure to like, subscribe, and use Star Cody. I'll see ya.